Las Vegas Street Journal. Uh, Bruce, you said game six against Dallas might have been your best game of the playoffs. Where does this one rank? Yeah, I think to, uh, still again, that game six was probably our benchmark for the season. This was very good. Our start was good. We finished some plays, which helps. Got a big save in the breakaway early. Uh, we had a good ozone shift, so it wasn't like we had a big breakdown. It's a good play by them to sneak away. Um, got the save, and then special teams were good. We need them to be. Then you get to 4 nothing, and, you know, after the second period, I think you, was parts there we might have lost our competitive edge for some shifts. And you got to be real careful of that this time of the year. Um, it's not a January game where the team's moving on to their next opponent, so are we. So we talked about that between periods. And so I liked our game, obviously. We're, there's still things we'll look at that we know we can do better. But uh, at the end of the day, I mean, it's a good performance by us. Our guys were ready to play. Front left. Jesse Granger at The Athletic. Um, how worried were you when Jack left the ice the way he did after the hit? And, and how big was that for the group for him to come back and set up a goal on his first shift? Yeah, back? you know, obviously when it happens... But he got up, he skated off. That's always step number one. He's not, you know, on the ice and needing assistance. So he, he got hit hard. We t in between periods, I asked him, he's fine. And, and that's, you know, it, it's easier to laugh about, not laugh, but said it's okay to get hit in June. This, this is part of the journey, you know. It's, it hurts to win, and it's, it's not supposed to be easy. So good for him. He, I think he saw some of it coming, but not enough to get out of the way. Uh, it was a clean hit. That's hockey, um, and we were very, very, I think, as a group, great to see him come back. Not, as, not only does it give us juice, but sometimes it can take away juice from the other team if they you know, see a guy come back. So uh, it was good for the group. Left side, second row. Bruce Steve Weiner from Associated Press. You said yesterday your power play has been hit or miss all year. Uh, very good tonight. How nice is it to see it, it clicking at this particular time? Well, you know, if you're playing against one of the most penalized teams in the league in the regular season and the most in the playoffs. So you're going to get on the power play. That, that, you know, if you're working to draw your penalties. So you might as well, it, 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 it's important that it's working because if not, it can really, you can really lose momentum and they can gain momentum from kills. So that's the importance of it right now. We score five on five. We've won a lot of games without having it to perform at a high level, but it's certainly another weapon or another way to create offense that, uh, you know, that's going to help. So it's, it, it's, it's picking a good time to get going. <clears throat> Left side standing up. Uh, how much of toughness is discipline? Uh, toughness, you know, that's a, it's a, there's probably a lot of things that go into it, the, the description of that, taking a hit to make a play, blocking shots. It's not about fighting and uh, winning your puck battles. Um, to me, discipline is more the mental toughness part of it, right? Knowing that it's easy to retaliate and, and get your sort of instant gratification, but, you know, to, to hold it in takes a lot more. And, and try to pick your spot later, especially if you feel you've been wronged out there. And it's a, it's, listen, hockey can be a violent game. So, I mean, that's why guys lose it, their discipline sometimes. And we get it, but we've done a terrific job, I think, of getting it back. If, you know, if there's pockets of the game that looks like it might disappear, let's get it back uh, to, you know, sort of reset, focus on your next shift and, and get back to playing. That's a credit to the group. It's a mature group. And, you know, if we have to take a punch in the face, you know, to, to win, and the guys understand there's, there's going to be a little bit of that. Right side, second row. Uh, Dan Rosen, NHL.com. Bruce, do you feel through these first two games that your depth is just overwhelming them? I think our depth has been a strength all year. That's how I'll answer it, and I think it's, I think it's one of the reasons. It is the biggest reason we are still here, why we beat Winnipeg, Edmonton, Dallas, and why we're heading against Florida. If that answers your question, I, I just feel that we have the best team from player one through 20. That's just how I feel. They might have some better players or a better penalty kill or power play or, 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 or was brought up goaltender. Now we're starting to see that our guy's pretty good too. Um, so I do believe it's, it's been the str big strength of our team, whether it's overwhelming and that, you know, that's a strong word. I just think it's been really good for us. Left side, third row. Uh, François Gagnon from RDS in Montreal. Uh, Bruce, I just want to come back on discipline. It's one thing to ask the players to be disciplined. It's another thing to get it. And how tough is it to make sure that, you know, you said you, you take a punch in the face and you have to take it. Well, how much is it tough to make sure that you get that's it? That's the Martinez, that's the Petrangelos in the room, you know, that have won. They know. They know what the, 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 the journey, what it, what it involves. And, 
you may get an opponent, an opponent where it's not required as much. Um, but, you know, typically it is. If you're going to play a, 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 you know, a series and the temperature goes up, it's just going to be required. I think every guy understands that. Even the, honestly, even the guys that haven't won, that have been in, you know, had some, in previous experience, they know, they know. That's it. And you got to decide. And, and so that's, that's, on the, that's on the player and, and good for our guys. Really good for our guys. Now, I think if it's projected from the coaching staff and the leaders, yes, that then it should be in, you know, you know, kind of into the team. And I think it started with this team a long time ago. Um, guys had long before I got here, but it was certainly an area that we talked about all season, like stay off the refs, uh, worry about your next shift, play whistle to whistle. We feel that tonight, today's game's a, like tonight's game was a man's game. We've, we, we can perform fine in those games. In fact, we can excel in those games and our guys understand that. And a certain amount of excelling in those games is knowing there is going to be some hits you're going to get on the wrong side of or some battles. And, you know, you got to make sure you hit back in those situations and, and win your share of battles. And I think our guys are really good at that. Take two more questions, front left. Danny, <clears throat> Danny Webster, Las Vegas Sun. Bruce, you you expected pushback from them, and obviously Aiden had another strong game. But between that and the two goals at the time, those goals came. How huge was the first period in setting the tone tonight? Well, you know they. What happens in the playoffs usually the team will respond that that's on the wrong end of the score, right? So we've seen that a lot. We've been there. Um, I don't think Florida's lost consecutive games since the first round at home, if I'm not mistaken. So. You know, you expect that. So scoring first matters. You get it on a power play. I think I, was that the Montour penalty, the the first one too. It's an, you know, it's it's, it's not a, a it's, it's not a penalty preventing a goal or a scoring chance, right? So you want to take advantage of those, and um, that helps you get going, um, get the next one, and and now maybe you've got the maybe the goaltender has a little doubt in his mind, who's been very very good. So it's all about creating some doubt too for for them because they've, you know, they've been the story of the playoffs. So, you, you know, we want to put some doubt in their mind. And um, I think that's that start did that. Uh, Ed Green, Review Journal, you talked about the breakaway save. He also had six on a PK. Before it got out of hand, can you judge Aiden's performance before it, the margin kind of grew? Well, I mean, the third goal, again, they, they haven't shot, they hadn't shot a puck in the net, you know what I mean? Like one went in off Aiden himself, stalls the other night. The other one went off White Cloud. The first, uh, tonight's the first one went off Marty. So... I mean, he's stopping everything he's seeing, right? Which is um, great for us and, and great for him. Um, you know, that's can be a real advantage. I mean, if you ask Florida, that's. I mean, I didn't see every game of their previous series, but it sounds like their guy was playing unbelievable too, right? It can give your team a huge lift. It, you can relax. Not every mistake is magnified in those situations. So, um, I mean, you know, it's it's what's required this time of year. We would lot. We would not. We don't want to rely on him over and over. I think. Later in the second period, we got a little bit like that. We took some penalties and made some, like, let's not put it all on him, but there's going to be stretches of games. I've said this, we're an imperfect team where we need him to, to be that guy, and he has been. <clears throat>